So I saw Mortal Kombat this past weekend. Did you? You did. I'm so sorry. Mortal Kombat was trash. I I don't even want to waste your time uh, trying to convince you otherwise. This movie was trash. Cole Young, the main character, fun fact, actually auditioned for the role of Shang-Chi. And thank God he didn't get it. It was almost like the producers over at Marvel had a time machine and flew into the future and saw how trash this individual was in Mortal Kombat. And was like, yeah, let's let him be trash in this movie. It's a good thing we didn't cast him. Cole Young is probably the most boring character and it was actually the most unnecessary character. And for some strange reason, the studio thought that it was a good idea to have him as kind of the character that would play the point of view of us which we didn't need because I feel the character that would have done the best job pulling that off is Kano. Kano was basically the audience commentary on all the things that was going on. He called BS on so many things that a lot of us would call BS on. Not to mention the dude was just downright hilarious. I, I have to say, I was extremely disappointed. I had such high hopes for this movie, especially since they released the first seven minutes of the film. Um, within that same week. But now, in hindsight, I realize they released the first seven minutes of the film because it was probably the best seven minutes of the film. There were a couple of other fight scenes. I, I need to let you guys know right now, the tournament doesn't happen in this movie. You know, the video game is about the Mortal Kombat tournament. This movie is basically the tournament preparation, but the tournament never actually takes place. <sighs> it was rough. I know I'm talking all over the place. I should have divided it into three sections. Kind of like my man E-Man from E-Man's Movie Reviews. So I'm going to give it a shot. The Good. Was there a lot to like in this film? There were some fight scenes that were incredibly satisfying. The two times that Scorpion and Sub-Zero fought, I enjoyed those. I liked when Kung Lao had his fight scene with a particular character. Kano fighting Reptile. Kano, period. For me, Kano made the movie. If you were to take Kano out of this movie, it's extremely unwatchable. Liu Kang was okay. There's really not a lot that I enjoyed, but out of the stuff that I did, it had to be Kano and a few of the fight scenes. All right, let's talk about the bad. Everything else that I didn't mention in the good, which is 75% of the movie. The dialogue was horrendous. There were a few catchphrases here and there that I enjoyed hearing. Um, I was disappointed that um, Jax didn't say his trademark gotcha in the movie. Gotcha. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. I thought he was. There was one part where I thought he was going to say it, and he didn't say it. I did not like the arms that they gave Jax before they became the arms that we see in the trailer. They have this thing called the Arcana, and that's kind of like their, um, their lazy way of explaining how to get their powers. Something has to take place that unlocks your Arcana, and then now you have the ability to do this and do that. Lazy. Lazy writing. I think what they did was they found some fight scenes that they wanted to have in this movie and just wrote a script around those fight scenes. And even other movies that have done that, you know, like the Ong Bak movies where um, uh, this dude, was it Ong Bak or was it The Protector? One of those movies with Tony Jaa where he's trying to get revenge because his pet elephant was killed. Might have been the protector. Anyway, my point was, other movies did a much better job than what Mortal Kombat tried to do. This movie 
was a incredible disappointment. I enjoyed a few moments here and there. There was one scene by a particular character that had a super incredible oh snap moment. I feel like that was the only part where I was super surprised because even, even the final scene with Scorpion and Sub-Zero could have been a lot better. Overall, Mortal Kombat, if I were to give this a rating, I would say two out of five stars. And those two stars are primarily because of Kano and a few of the fight scenes. Everything else was just utter trash. Just keeping it real.